Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I'm bringing you another server how-to on the Adventure Time multiplayer server. Uh, just as before, this is a private whitelisted server that I share with some fellow co-workers, and we are not currently open for application, so uh, do keep that in mind. If you are not a member, you can treat this as a little bit of a world tour. Uh, if you are a member, hopefully it is helpful to you in finding resources that are available on the server. So. Today we are going to be taking a look at a gold and gas tier and magma cream farm that Caleb built. And the first thing you want to do is you want to come through the nether portal from spawn, come down into the nether hub rail station, and we're going to find uh, we're going to find Caleb's three-in-one gas farm. We're going to select that, and make sure that that light is selected. If you want to, you you can feel free to send a freight cart. Um, we're probably not going to need one, but uh, you can just go ahead and do that if you want to. And you get in this cart, and then hit that button, and we're going to head on. It takes a while to get there, so I'm going to cut out and bring you back once we are over there, okay? Back in a bit. Alright, we are making our final approach. Here we go. And we'll pop out. Don't worry about that. There is a half slab above the minecart track. And that is to discourage spawns uh, anywhere up here. Because we are pretty high above the roof of the nether. Let's just take a quick look. Why 216 and a half? Yeah, we're on a half slab. So nothing can spawn here. And that half slab is going to keep other stuff from spawning on the tracks. Or at least reduce it. Uh, magma cubes do happen to spawn there, the little variety, but uh, just keep that in mind. That will happen in the course of the use of this farm. Now, you can see the main farm right there, and then if you look over here, there is an AFK platform, okay? And this is an AFK farm, just to get the kind of drops that you may be wanting. So you come up here, and it's pretty simple. You hang out on the AFK platform for however long you want to, and uh, just stay. And you can log, well not log out, but you can just uh, hit your inventory and go about and do other stuff on the computer, or you can just go hang out somewhere else away from the computer. So that's the whole point, and uh, what you're going to do is just wait here for some time, uh, if you're paranoid like I am, you can use this little safe, chuck all your items in there. But once you're done, you come back down here, and you notice the pigment falling out of that thing. They're falling onto a little catch tray down at the bottom. And there are hopper minecarts running back and forth under there, picking up all the items. And they're sending it in a hopper line right under this this uh, walkway right here and all of those items are coming down to a sorter down at the bottom and what you'll notice there are gold nuggets that show up and other stuff and then zombie flesh and the zombie flesh has an overflow protection that just shoots it into lava I think it's lava never actually seen it but we've got plenty of zombie flesh so don't really need any more and we've got gold nuggets flowing in not quite at the highest rate possible because um, we're a little closer to some of the open areas at the top of the nether like around my base which is pretty close to to this right right beneath us but what you'll do, you'll stay overnight or for some amount of time. You'll come back, pick up all your stuff. You'll get magma cream and gunpowder and an occasional gas tier. Um, if you happen to have your headphones on while a gas is in there, you will not miss it. Trust me. Uh, they make one of the most horrendous noises when they're caught up in that trap up there. So, just a word of warning, you might want to turn down your volume if you do go AFK. Otherwise, it might be rather scary. So, that is it. It's just an AFK farm. It's like some, most of the other stuff that we've got. 
the witch farm and the iron and gold farm down in the overworld, or up in the overworld, I should say. But, uh, yeah, not much interaction. You just got to come up here and hang out. Um, and overnight, I've done an overnight a couple times, just getting some resources. And I've had up to right around here filled with gold nuggets. So this one's been full, and this one's been a little bit. So that's just, just to give you an idea of some of the rates. And very few gas tiers, relatively few rather. Um, that's, you know, just the name of the game. They are a rarer spawn by the game standards, so it's a lower percentage of a chance of getting a gas to spawn, and then the amount of space that they require for spawning um, really leaves them only one option or one line of, of blocks up there uh, for actual spawning. So very, very rare drop, but uh, by the end of an overnight session, I've gotten somewhere around 10 before, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's not it's not great, but you know can't complain too much. So that is it for the how to there. When you're done, you just come on down here and you head on back, and you'll end up back at the Nether Hub station. But uh, hey, if you enjoyed, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It's always going to be appreciated. But uh, I do thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.